guys, it's Viv again, and today I want to flex my 80,000 diamonds in the Vietnamese server. Holy moly, that is so much. I've never had this many diamonds in any Nikki accounts, not even in my main. But there is a good reason for this massive diamond here. There is nothing to spend it on. The Vietnamese server is the world's slowest Nikki server in the world. It's probably the most deadest Nikki server in the world too. And because it's so slow and so dead, it makes saving diamonds so much easier. Now, before I go in deeper into this discussion, I want you to think about whether you prefer a faster server or a deader server, because there are pros and cons to both sides, which we'll talk about in a bit. But first, like this video for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to see more future content. And since I play actively in six different Nikki servers, I'm here to show you events and features before they come over over to love Nikki so that you can prepare your diamonds or prepare to skip. Okay, so fast server versus a dead server. An example of a fast server is love Nikki English server. Elix is working real hard pumping out events at the speed of light so that we can catch up to the Chinese server and it's working. Love Nikki has already surpassed several of his older sister servers in terms of total wardrobe count, including the Vietnamese server, which is a year older. So I want to show you the current total wardrobe count in the Vietnamese server, and you can compare it to Love Nikki yourself. As of today, I'm making this video on March 29th, 2021. The Vietnamese server has a total of 15,183 total wardrobe. Dude, Love Nikki long surpassed this number. So I'm looking at my Love Nikki game now, and Love Nikki has 15,878 as of today. <laughs> so, how did Love Nikki surpass the Vietnamese server? There are two reasons I can think of. Number one, no collabs. The Vietnamese server has no collab events at all. There's no Miku, there's no Barbie, there's no Disney, there's no Sanrio, and that's so crazy. Because if you look, I don't know, let's let's look at right here. Let's look at Apple because Apple has a bunch of stuff, right? Um, yeah, I'm supposed to see Miku somewhere over here, but I don't see it at all. Uh, I'm supposed to see some Barbie over here too, but no, nah, that is not there at all too. Uh, there's no Disney suits here too. It's just no collabs. I don't know why the Vietnamese server don't do collabs, probably because of uh, licensing reasons. Maybe they're not allowed to do it or something. But yeah, there are no collabs at all in the server. And I want you to let me know in the comments below do you like collabs or do you hate collabs? There are pros and cons to both sides because uh, the reason uh, this game has collabs is because it can bring in new players. For example, if there is someone who is a huge Hatsune Miku fan, if they see that this game Love Nikki is having a Hatsune Miku collab, they are likely to try this game out and just play it for fun. And if they like the game, they'll probably play it longer or even spend. And that's the goal of collabs. Now, the downside to these collabs is if you are not a fan of it, you probably don't care about these suits, or if you like these suits, if you like these Disney characters or the Miku characters and you don't have diamonds, that's just a sad time, you know? <laughs> because if you don't have the diamonds, then uh, you skip it and then these collapse never returns and that's a boohoo moment. Okay, so yeah, one of the reasons that this server here is so slow is because lack of collapse. Another reason why the Vietnamese server is so slow and love Nikki catch up is no hell events in the Vietnamese server. What the heck? Okay, okay. The Vietnamese server, we haven't had a hell event in 69 years. Okay, okay. The latest hell event is this one right here. Light and Mirror, and there is no Moonless Voyage. Love Nikki already has Moonless Voyage, VN does not, and that is so crazy. Uh, let's compare Hell Event schedule in Love Nikki versus uh, uh, the Vietnamese server. So let's see, on the right of my screen, I'm gonna type in Love Nikki Hells, and Love Nikki, there is always a Chinese New Year Hell. This usually runs alongside with the Chinese server too. The Chinese server has a Chinese New Year Hell event and so does a Love Nikki. And then what else? There is also a 
I can't spell. Versary hell. Love Nikki anniversary is in April, and there's always a anniversary hell. Historically, there is. And then what else does Love Nikki have? There's a um, summer hell event. So that's usually around like July, August ish. And then there is also a fall slash winter hell event. So four hell events in the span of one year now let me go over the schedule for this uh vietnamese servers hell event so i'm gonna write uh vn hells right here and okay uh spiral staircase garden of spiral staircase i'm gonna go over 2020 hell events okay spiral staircase was the first hell event that ran in 2020 and this was like the january hell event right and then up next it's four storms ah this one was an expensive one this one was a april hell event and then up next a light in mirror this is their latest hell event and this one was a october hell event so yeah that's it. In 2020, let me write down uh, 2020 here. The Vietnamese server has only three hell events. A lot of players actually expected Moonless A Voyage to come in the Vietnamese server, especially for uh, Chinese New Year hell. In 2021, the Vietnamese server has had zero hell events so far. Like. I, I don't know, just so many VN players expected Moonless Voyage to come, but it didn't. And that is so strange because, yeah, right now, this is all we have. This is a server that is a year older than Love Nikki Elix server too. So I don't know why they are so slow. If I were to theorize why the Vietnamese server is so slow, my guess would be maybe it's pandemic related because, you know, 2020, everyone is a broke, people are losing their jobs, and that makes sense. Maybe that's why the Vietnamese server slowed down their hell event production so that players can actually afford the hell events, you know? But, you know, love Nikki, they're like, <laughs> pandemic, what? We don't care. Here, have a collab, have four hell events a year, and have this expensive event next to this expensive. Have all the returning hell events too. <laughs> oh. oh man, Elix be milking us. But yeah, the Vietnamese server is a really slow. And this is actually good, sort of. Because I feel like it's really chill. And I got to relax my diamonds a lot. Which is why I was able to save up this much. And I'm not just like skipping every event. I actually do the event. Like I finished this uh, Garden of Spiral Staircase event. I uh, completed this 100%. I've been only playing like, this uh, server for one year, by the way. I started uh, January 1st, 2020. So one year, I completed two Hell events, which is not bad at all, in my opinion. I actually skipped uh, this one because I found out that these uh, bigger suits aren't really my style, and I would rather save up for another future hell event and yeah because i wanted to save up for like a future better hell event like Moon moonless voyage i ended up having this many diamonds because i just kept saving and saving hoping for that uh, moonless voyage hell event to come and it never did not even in 2021 so to, as of today i am still waiting for moonless voyage to come i don't even know if it'll ever come because it's so slow um yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Man, this server is so dead and it's making me sad. Give hell event, VNG, please. Oh yeah, VNG are the developers and uh, they haven't given a hell event in so long. Uh, new hell event, at least. They are returning hell events, but just no new hell events. All right, everyone. I want this to be a discussion video, so I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. Would you prefer a faster server? Server, like love Nikki English server or would you prefer a slower more chill server like the Vietnamese server um, like I said pros and cons to both uh, this Vietnamese server just feels so dead right now which makes me sad but <laughs> love Nikki Elix server is going so fast it's like I can't keep up man <laughs> yeah let me know in the comments below I love to know what y'all think I love y'all so much as subscriber I'll delete your love Nikki accounts peace peace
It's giveaway time! I have two official Miracle Nikki official merch straight from Japan that I want to share with you. Number one is this cute little Nikki acrylic stand. It also includes this little keychain so you can hang in your uh, backpack or purse or anything you like. Number two is another acrylic stand but Momo and it includes a keychain here as well. The cool thing about these acrylic stands is it doesn't need to just be stand. You can like take the bottom platform out and it could just be a keychain alone. These merch are extremely rare and you can only get them from Japan Amazon but they do not ship internationally. I am giving international Nikki fans a chance to win these. If you want to join the giveaway, link is in the description below. The link is going to bring you to a page that looks like this, a Vivi Gaming Love Nikki official merch giveaway for two winners. All you have to do is log in with your email, Facebook, Insta, Twitch, a Twitter, or YouTube. So for me, I am going to enter with Twitter. The first thing you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then it's going to unlock several other ways to gain points towards this giveaway, such as visiting my brand new channel called Vivi Plays. You can get one point from this, and then commenting on my YouTube video can gain you an extra point too. You can do this once a day, so be sure to come back to this giveaway to do this. And then following me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram will also garner you one point each. This giveaway is 100% free to enter, so what are you waiting for? Link is in the description below. Enter now and may the odds be ever in your favor.